Speaking of this story, apparently Sprad came out and this is what he has to say. Roll it. Just be me getting older, you know? I'm 29 now, going on 30. I might not look it, but I'm turning 30 this year and the idea of playing that same style of gameplay, that Call of Duty multiplayer, that 6v6 experience could have just caught up on me. You know, I've been doing it for 15, 16 years to move on. But I think the main one that will probably hit home with a lot of you watching is the idea that maybe Call of Duty multiplayer just isn't the same anymore. I think we could agree that the last few Call of Duties have had a different direction with what they're going with. This concept of seasonal content, the level caps, you know, the introduction of Warzone, I think that probably created quite a divide within multiplayer and Warzone. I think I expected them to be a bit more intertwined, I guess, in a sense. And I think there's been a big separation there, which has kind of divided the community. So Bruh. that probably hasn't helped either. As the years have gone on and we've had different Call of Duties and the support is different throughout the year, they obviously have their vision and I've got to respect that. I'm glad there's just content coming, but I think with the Modern Warfare 2 Season what 2 content, roadmap that bro. just dropped, I think that probably shows where we are headed. Right. Apparently the legend spread has announced that he will be done making Call of Duty multiplayer content <laughs> and moving into other areas of gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, another year, another flop, and the situation is so wild. Modern Warfare 2 is making everybody quit YouTube, guys. <laughs> And also, this apparently just happened. U.S. has shot down another one of those objects around Alaska. Roll it. So I can confirm that the Department of Defense was tracking a high-altitude object over Alaska airspace in the last 24 hours. Out, uh, the, uh, the object was flying at an altitude of uh, 40,000 feet and posed a reasonable threat to the safety of civilian flight. Out of an abundance of caution and at the recommendation of the Pentagon, President Biden ordered the military to down the object, and they did, and it came in inside our territorial waters. Uh, those waters right now are frozen, but inside uh, territorial uh, airspace and over territorial waters. Fighter aircraft assigned to U.S. Northern Command took down the object within the last hour. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. One hour. The Chinese, those motherfuckers out there, they have all the data within the hour, okay? And there is a whole lot of susness built up in the comments. I mean, god damn, man. People are saying we are uh, going to, I cannot say that word on YouTube. Some homies are even putting, like, aliens emojis out here. Some people are saying that they have down another one of those Chinese spy balloons, another one of those Fortnite in real life event. Some people are saying, it's the aliens, the Mars are here so some people are saying that they have took down and shot down the ufo we also ended up getting the end of the road begins oh wow get fast hand tickets now because we ended up getting a brand new fast hand trailer and it is truly wild we got aquaman in this moment out there we got john cena out here the the lost brother you know family we even have dominic Toretto. we got his son my guy damn man hey, yo, bro we saw his son like this just two years ago and now he's like this I, I just cannot compute this, man. This is some fast and furious logic. They got GTA 6 online event. Look at this, my guy. I just stop. Just <laughs> stop. Stop. Seek some help. Seek some help. Okay, but honestly, bro, like, I'm actually kind of excited, though. Like, uh, I, I love the. I, I know, I know. Okay, I, I love the Fast and Furious saga. And okay, man, I'm uh, kind of excited. We got two baddies fighting strong, independent style at the end. Uh, to end the trailer, obviously, they're. Pretty good, pretty good. But if you're having a bad day while well, somebody else is having even worse, because apparently Google shares drop hundred billion dollars after its new AI chatbot makes a mistake. Apparently they have launched their new AI chatbot and, and they are trying to have this out because they want to compete with chat GPT and apparently they made a mistake or their AI made a mistake and they lost a hundred billion dollars. Situation is so wild because somebody asked them, hey man, uh, what new discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope can I tell my nine-year-old about? You're telling me because they wanted to tell their nine-year-old. They asked this question to Chadbot because they wanted to tell their nine-year-old about this, uh, about the answer. And they ended up losing $100 billion because the Chadbot responded with a few bullet points, including the claim that the telescope took the very first picture of exoplanets. But apparently, uh, that is kept because the James Webb telescope didn't discover exoplanets. And just because of this, they lost a hundred billion dollars, okay? I mean, damn, man, can a brother perhaps get one billion? That would have been way better. Like, I mean, throw me a billion and anybody who smashes the like button, hit him up with a billion too, right? Like, you deserve a billion. If you think you deserve a billion dollar, uh, definitely uh, smash the like button and uh, hit the bell as well. But Google is not the only one because, uh, god damn, uh, Adidas is expected to lose 1.3 billion in sales after. <laughs>
<laughs> After dropping Kanye West and somebody by the name of Kiona West, I'm not sure if that's a real Twitter account or not. Real or not, okay? It's still funny. What's funny is funny. Apparently says my uncle on to bigger and better. Adidas is nada without the ye- <laughs> We also ended up getting leaks about the next PlayStation State of Play. We're hearing that it's likely gonna happen in March, it's claimed. And apparently this news is coming from Jeff Grubb. And what he says is a little bit shocking. It's a little bit surprising to no one out there. Because Bruh. apparently says that, don't get your hopes up too high, says Grubb. Apparently, uh, it's going to be a pretty lackluster, pretty low-key. <laughs> Loki state of play. Uh, guess what? We know. We already know that. Now, smash the like button, subscribe right now if you know that too. But I mean, thank God we're having something right. And he also says that that's not to say Sony doesn't have anything in store for its uh, PlayStation platforms in 2023 and beyond. Instead, it's likely that the company wants to save any heavy hitter announcements for a full PlayStation showcase in the summer. And essentially, the rumor here is that we're going to be getting a Sony state of play in March. It's just going to be probably lackluster. Maybe we're going to get a Spider Man 2. If you get Spider Man 2, it's not gonna be lackluster, but he says it's lackluster, so I'm assuming we're not gonna get Spider Man 2. But then around summertime, that's when we're gonna be getting a massive Sony Pony press conference, like an E3 style showcase, and that's truly where we're likely gonna see Wolverine, we're likely gonna see Spider Man 2, and some brand new games. And this is probably the biggest shocker to the Call of Duty community because nobody was expecting it, or some people were kind of expecting it. A lot of people couldn't digest the news, the leak, the rumor that uh, did came out last year that said that we're not gonna be getting a brand new Call of Duty game this year but apparently the source for that news that we're not gonna be getting a new Call of Duty this year was actually Jason Schreier so a lot of people believe that and Jason Schreier came out once again and said that I'll write a story at some point but what happened was Treyarch's game was planned for 2023 early last year they decided to delay Treyarch's game to 2024 and fill in the blanks with more Modern Warfare stuff from Sledgehammer My Boss or my bad, uh, Sledgehammer My Games or Sledgehammer Games uh, not my balls or my games uh, and at some point they decided to frame it as a full release so initially it was supposed to be a DLC that was supposed to be $70 uh, and now he's saying that it's gonna be $70 but it's gonna be a full-blown game and not just him even Tom Henderson came out and he corroborated the news in fact he was the first guy to leak that yesterday said that uh, this year we're also gonna be getting a brand new Call of Duty it's gonna be 70 it's gonna be $70 it's gonna be a full release and Activision is gonna be making more money than God and bro like this is so wild I just cannot compute this guys we even have the beta days <laughs> We even have the beta this. Modern Warfare 2 flops so bad that they're now rushing to make this game. And essentially, we know about the campaign early release. That it's gonna be having like early access for the campaign. It's gonna be having a beta access. It's gonna be having two weekends. It's even gonna be having a full launch. My god, they even know about the full release date, November 10th. And it's only February! Activision seeks some goddamn hell, bruh! And a lot of people coping mechanism broke. A lot of people just couldn't even compete. A lot of the Call of Duty community also ended up catching herpes left <laughs> left and right and nobody is just believing this situation But one thing that everybody is believing right now is that just like how death and taxes are promised A new Call of Duty every year is also promised But the funniest thing and the most bizarre thing from this entire story is that Infinity War was given three years and 3,000 devs to make Modern Warfare 2 They had the entire life cycle and it was supposed to be a two-year game and now you're telling me Sledgehammer my balls or else or Sledgehammer Games is gonna have one less year and, and, and now they're gonna be producing a new Modern Warfare game because apparently uh, they're looking to title it Modern Warfare 3. Not Bruh. a Modern Warfare 3 remaster, but a brand new Modern Warfare 3 game. Yo, at this point, just remaster Modern Warfare 3. Give us the spec offs, give us the multiplayer, give us the entire campaign of the original Modern Warfare 3. Just don't change it, just improve the graphics, make the servers good. Don't add skill based matchmaking because previously, uh, during Modern Warfare 3, we didn't add skill based Matching, and also remastered the DLC maps that came with Modern Warfare 3 have clan ops like we used to have back in the days with Call of Duty Elite. Drop a thumbs up if you remember that. I remember being like 49, 50 was the max rank and then they shut off the servers for the Call of Duty Elite and I'm forever stuck on 49. Let me tell you man, those were the good old days. I wish uh, there was a way to find out you were in the good old days before you actually left them, okay? But Activision Blizzard CEO says that Sony is trying to sabotage Microsoft's purchase of the Call of Duty companies. Apparently, Bobby Kotick also came forward and he did say that Sony is not picking up their phone calls, Sony is not responding to Activision no more, and I mean, why would they respond, right? You're trying to catfish them, you're trying to sleep with Sony 
Games X. You're trying to sleep with Microsoft out here without any loop, without any any rubber, without anything like that. You're trying to sleep with them, so why would they be happy about that? It says that Bobby Kotick has been making the rounds as it were with the interviews, all meant to hopefully work towards swaying regulators to approve Microsoft's purchase of Activision Blizzard. When Financial Times asked Sony about this, it responded to say that it is in contact with Microsoft, but had nothing further to add regarding our private oh, negotiations. Oh, so you're telling me that Sony is in contact with their ex, but they don't want to talk with Activision. That is cold, my guy. And also the UK ended up blocking this Activision and Microsoft deal, and they are offering Microsoft three different situations. Click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left because this Arab ghost hunter almost dies. This is something they don't want you seeing, guys. Check out both of these videos and I will see you right there.